Hello, everyone, and welcome to the e-learning cooking show. It is I, the unprofessional chef, and you're our teacher, Mr. McCallum. Um, I thought we'd bring it outside today. Um, I don't know if you're like me, but um, I'm a big fan of the outdoor cooking situation and just having a little fire going. So it's kind of windy today. Kind of windy. Uh, we're gonna look at cooking on a campfire. And I've got a few assortment of items that we can cook up, kind of the huge. And then I'll give you some tips. I'll also talk about uh, fire starting, maintaining a fire. So, uh, anybody with us? Your mom. My mom is here. Helena. Oh my gosh. Olivia and Pudstoy. All right, good. Well, let's see what we got. I started a fire earlier, and it is. Uh, it has not progressed as far as I want, but that's okay. We're gonna survive. You wanna get things down to coal because that's your nice, hot, even fire, and then you can, uh, you can manage that a little bit better. So we're just gonna disperse some stuff around here and see what we can do. Um, so stuff that you burn, try to keep it as natural as possible. Although I do use some recycled uh, cardboard and paper sometimes to start a fire nothing I don't usually use the uh, junk mail or anything but I make little bricks this is basically cardboard and paper recycled that I soak in, in water in a five gallon bucket and then put into a brick press and let it dry out in the Sun and then I can use these to burn and it's pretty clean pretty clean and then uh, of course maybe you got some uh, wood in the backyard right and if you have some nice wood, like uh, something from any kind of apple tree or something that's hickory or uh, even like cherry, you can, you can get a nice, nice little cooking effect. So um, occasionally my buddy from Tucson will bring mesquite and we'll, uh, we'll cook a grill over the mesquite. Good old Dan. Good old Dan. Good old Uncle Dan. So um, you want to get your fire burnt down a little bit so you have some coals and you can get something like this iron skillet on there, okay? So I'm going to get this right on top, see if we can balance that. And that's going to get really hot, which is why I have... Bacon. Well, I have bacon, <laughs> but it's why I have this mitt so that I can go in there and grab it if I need to like this. But see if you can find a somewhat stable zone. If not, just rework your your setup so that you can set some kind of pan down. We'll let that heat up a little bit. Okay, let's talk about let's talk about fire. So fire in the backyard. Tear up some paper, light it up, put your little stick kindling on there. That'll work fine. But uh, here's something that I use for camping and sometimes. This is a cotton ball soaked in Vaseline, and I just put these in a bag and bring it with me you can take just a little bit of this okay Ew, that's a lot and you can just kind of pull it apart so it's a little stringy like this okay you don't even need that much this will help you get a fire started okay and this will burn real easily so this could this could be the starter, and then as long as you have enough kindling, everything gets going good. But it's just a cotton ball soaked in Vaseline. And then if you're out camping, if you're in your backyard, you might have one of those fire sticks. If you're out camping, you probably want to have some kind of um, lighter. So something that you can efficiently light a campfire with, okay? Or matches that are waterproof. Otherwise, you'll be in big trouble, and you'll be, you'll be starting a campfire like this. Which you could do. Maybe we should try that just to see oh, if we could pull it off. That would be kind of tough. I've seen it before, but I have never done it, and it's it seems really difficult. Your mom says nice hat. Thanks. Yeah. Well, you know, I feel like in every episode, I've got something on that my mom has made for me. So some of my favorite things are Kyle made by my us. mom. Hello, Kyle. We're cooking on a campfire. Doodler, Doodler joined us. Doodler, beautiful. Welcome, That's welcome. That's it. Well, good. Everyone has stick around. Oh, good. They're pretty quiet. Are they quiet? It's Monday, quiet. to be expected. Um, this also lets me get outside. Do you hear the birds? It's beautiful. 
Can you even hear me? Like, it's so windy. I hope this little mic thing I have is working. But uh, it's just nice to be outside. The breeze is cool, and the fire is warm. It's like the perfect day for me today. It's been the perfect weekend. I'll tell you one thing, though. I was out uh, working on a project this weekend, and um, I got a sunburn. I don't know if you can... Oh, do you want to turn? <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. Twisty and turny. That is one red neck, red scalp... Um, oops. Oops is right. So I need to have protection. And this is just the, the hat to keep me protected. And it's it's cool out so I can wear it. So Helena says, yo, I heard you were going to be hosting the coffee house with Thornton. That's, yeah. That's hype. That is hype. That's fire. That's lit and all the things. Um, isn't that, it's going to, I cannot wait. It's going to be a hilarious combo. Um, boy, boy, oh boy. I've been watching some of the videos just to get uh, my eyes on them and and I've been seeing some amazing things so I know you guys are going to be excited to see what's offered for the coffee house and I even saw some visual art so that's exciting too. Do um, the, or a doodle or skadoodle or says ouch to your um, Ouch is sunburn. right. Honestly by the end of the day yesterday I was like I was out of it. I was this hurt so bad and I was I was like warm and cold at the same time because the sun had scorched me um, I might have gotten a little too much vitamin D uh, so I slept good got up today hope hope you guys are getting recovered after the weekend as well alright so this thing I'm sure is getting very hot and I'm gonna go ahead and put the bacon in okay and get that sizzling now if you have like an old grate from know, an old oven or an oven rack, you could you could take that out. And you could cook cook on that as well, and you can get creative. You could uh, you could make a whole setup out here that you are you know campfire cooking with with like a tripod and uh, cooking a can of beans. I don't know. You got to get creative when you're out here. But this seems like it is going to work. I've got my old uh, marshmallow slash hot dog stick. Ye old. Ye old, so I can uh, maneuver this around if necessary. Hey, God made dirt sticks, so you it's might as well hard. use them. It's all good. It's all good. Don't let it, don't let it get you frustrated. Oh, I've been putting it on nonstop. And then Kyle says, and Mrs. Jagerson says, in her notes, make sure you wake up by 8 to finish your work by 5, and you wake up at 12, but you still finish by like 4. Hey! That's pretty... Bonus! Alright. got the hot dog. I put a hot dog in there because sometimes it's nice to have a little uh, bacon grease covered hot dog. And then, I also have the hot dog on the stick, because that's a good thing. So I'm going to kind of get this... I'm going to get this in a spot. Um, so I'm just going to kind of... Here's what I need to do. I need to situate this over the, the heat without burning. So we're just going to kind of leave this smells here. Good. Smells really good. And then um, as soon as we flip this bacon, another thing we can add is an egg. Okay? Um, Mia Cox has joined us. Hello, Mia. And uh, Kyle Horde says, like, who wakes up at 8 during lockdown? Actually, who, who does I, that? I wake up before eight during lockdown, so. Well, we can't all be that amazing. I actually got up uh, somewhat you know, early, today. early today. I got up Proud pretty early. Me. Yep. Um. Did you need a fork? I need something. I because I just put my stick here. I'm just gonna get a stick. Oh jeez. We can get two. Get a couple of sticks going. Our stick pile. All you need is a couple of sticks and you can grab things with. Alright. Oh my gosh, this is like it, this is hot. This is hot. That's so a, that's a that's almost a dunsey. That's gonna be dunsey. That's going on the plate. Oh, I'm getting smoked. Yeah, smoke inhalation. Bad for you. This is like bacon ASMR. It is very warm and very smoky. Now it's smoky in my eyes. Have you ever noticed the smoke goes only where you are on a campfire? 
Do you like your bacon crispy? Do you like it crispy? Because that's what we're doing. I like it almost raw. I'm kind of a raw guy myself. <laughs> it's but. so gross. Crispy or raw, leave it oh, in the Oh, that's fine. Five second rule. It's fine. Five. It's, it's oh, just that's, dirt. It's just that's dirt. That's fine too. It's fine. Nobody, and it's really hot, so the dirt is it purified. <laughs> it's purified. All right. Oh, there we go. And guys, you won't believe what else we're making today. Uh, eggs? Yeah, I mean, of course. All right, this hot dog has been soaked in the grease of goodness. Uh, no, we can save look that, at me. right? Look at me. We can save that, right? We can save that. I mean, that's basically it is like baloney. all that is is a oh yeah. All that that's that's a topping. That's like a corn dog. Okay. That's a corn dog right there. All right. Well, well, good thing we have another hot dog roasting because that one's been offered up to the flames. Oh goodness. Um. Says that she likes her bacon softer because she likes the fresh, fatty part. I love that stuff. And then Mia Cox says crispy. Well, uh, this one. Helena says purified dirt is a delicacy. Yeah, I, I feel like it's it's something rare that you don't get to eat that often. That's melting your mouth. Wow. All and right, then, good. Uh, your mom says, hopefully s'mores. We did s'mores We actually before. did s'mores. I might do them again on another time. Um, and then Doodler Skadoodler says, rip. And then says, mmm, ashy. I mean, there's got to be maybe some some vitamins and minerals in there you can... Listen, let's just say if I was out in the woods, I'd, I'd still eat it. But we're not But we're not here, and I don't want to... I don't want to lead you astray. Alright, those eggs are crisp enough. This, this, uh, it needs it needs a rotation. Oh my god. Yep. I'm taking the the eggs down so they don't burn. And they're just gonna sit on a stone over there. And then what's been interesting is here I have these close enough to the heat that they're just kind of uh it's just kind of toasting. The bread is toasting. So I can put the hot dog right on there. So I got that toasting up on the side. We're gonna try and rotate this again. Rotation, rotation my station. My eyeballs hurt so bad right now. There, there, that's all, that's all it's meant to be. Oh, my eyes. All right, the eggs. Got a lot of, uh, a lot of bacon grease, so we're gonna... Dump that to the Get oven. that, and, and we then... We didn't kill our eggs. Oh, oh, we did, we might have, we might have. Man, that is a hot, I had a hot fire. Sarah, slow! Sarah, what's up? My girl. All right, I need to put, I need to put this onto some bread. I, I got butter out for no apparent reason. Because we I thought got, we were gonna make some sort of grilled cheese or something. Yeah, else. that is an egg sandwich right there. Ooh. All right, and then that along with our dog of hotness. Oh gosh, are we gonna be able to get that off? Oh, we are. Watch this. Oh. Okay, the bread is also like the a finesse. a glove. The finesse. Okay. Oh, look at that. An egg and hot dog sandwich. It's the same as an egg and bologna sandwich. It's it's the same. It's all the same, people. It's the same ingredients. And you just gotta... Sarah Swallow says, straight up eat the butter. Don't tempt this man, he would. Mm. Oh my gosh. How's that bacon grease? I gotta egg? be honest with you. That's really good. <laughs> that is the best mouthful of food I've had. It's just raw goodness. But we cooked it. It's, but it's we cooked. made it. It's cooked. <laughs> That's what I meant. Like... I mean, it's unadulterated goodness. I don't even know how to describe it to you. The bread has a light toasting. The hot dog is is sort of um, medium, okay? The eggs plus the bacon grease, it's, it's like nothing it's I've like had. It's like tater tots and bacon grease. It's like tater tots That's cooked in bacon grease. That should be an episode right there. Yep. 
That stuff is so That's good, good enough to take another bite of. Doodler Skadoodler mm. says, now I'm hungry. You guys are going to want to make that sandwich right there. Two eggs, one hot dog, two pieces of bread. Mmm. Honestly. It's like I'm at a, a fancy restaurant. A fancy restaurant. You and Musso should open a restaurant. Done. It'll be virtual. So, simple, easy, cooking on the fire. We'll do another one on Wednesday where we try something else and we cook. I'll, uh, I'll give you a different technique where we get the, we'll get the fire going a little bit better. Maybe bake something in the fire. Good. We'll either bake or we'll do, uh, you ever hear of uh, hobo stew? Oh my gosh. So good. I'm so glad that we're going to actually do that because I think I brought that up during the first week. Yes. Um, and then I will also show you this week a little bit about my campfire cook set that I use uh, one camp. And I made, I made, this is like a little uh, insulated cover. So I'll show you some more about that. But listen, guys, I hope we're doing grand, glorious good on this uh, beautiful Monday. Stay out of the sun or at least wear some sunscreen, okay? For the love. Wear the sunscreen. Don't be like me. Don't be like me. Oh, reconnect. There we go. All right, so I hope, I hope you have a fantastic day. Love you guys. Miss you. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow Bye. for Little Lums uh, Helpful Art Tips. And uh, back here again at the campfire on Wednesday. If you uh, have any questions, suggestions, or otherwise, uh, leave them in the comments. Oh, and don't forget, if you're watching this on the YouTubes, like and subscribe. And don't forget to ringy-ding that bell. <laughs> Alrighty then. Hey, one have a good one. Question. Yeah. What are, we, are we still going to be doing this on Fridays? Since we have our flex day. Oh, we're off school on Friday. Yep. This week. So, are we so, still doing the show? Oh, uh, normally it would be helpful helpful tips. Little Lums helpful art tips. So uh, we'll see. You guys tell me. Again, it's up to you. I don't want to bother you on your day off. So um, let me know what you want, and then I will go based on that, okay? Otherwise, it's a day of rest. It's up to you. Friends, take care. Have a good one. Peace unto thee. Yeah. <laughs>